Okay, I'm here. <laughs> Just give me one second. <laughs> it's Sunday, 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 and welcome to another Learning 2 SC, or as I like to call it, uh, Dex's Nightmare. <laughs> uh, a fever dream. That's what I was coming up with. That's what I was going to say earlier. I was coming up with some really cool intro, and I had it in my head, and I totally forgot it when I started. Now I can do this. Uh, I want that one. Hi, ah, kids. Uh, welcome. Let's see if I can... Chicken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was... I was getting. Um... Got a comment on one of the last videos. I think it was on uh, the new Frostbite series that the audio was a little loud. I don't think it was my mic. It was probably the game. Um, but uh, I backing stuff off a little bit see how that goes all right welcome so as promised of last week i uh did all of the goofy ass welding that and then i got a little overzealous <laughs> and we'll we'll get into that and i'll show that here in a second um but the first thing that we want to do is is that we didn't add a mod last week we added two mods the, the previous time before Uh, so we should add a mod today <laughs> although I'm not I still couldn't decide on what to add so what I'm gonna do is do something a little different instead of having like a plan <laughs> like I have a plan um, let's uh, let's just uh, uh, exit out of this for a hot second yes uh, let's uh, load this And we'll look at the plethora of garbage that I have. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. I'm thinking of um, since we're gonna be going to space at some point. Um, actually, what I was thinking was was, was that I would uh, change out the landing gear. Uh, into the foldable stuff. It just looks cooler. Actually, no, I don't know if I'm gonna do that because that's a uh, ramp. I think that's what I was gonna do. Ramp. Let's add a ramp. So this is a pretty cool one. Um, I like it. I usually on I do it on my large grid ships to be able to like, get on and off my ship without uh, having a jetpack. It's for those moments when you've like. Oh crap, ran out of jetpack, and you need to get onto your ship. 
Alright, let's load this. So, good week, uh, good stream on Monday, which would have posted uh, YouTube on Tuesday. Uh, little little bumps here and there, but for the most part, we got we're 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 good and we're in a solid <laughs> we're solidly into Frostbite series. Uh, so, uh, and that should work out really well. So I'm I'm very excited about Mondays again. All right, so we're gonna take a look at what I've welded. Like I said, I went a little overzealous, so I did weld up all the ship. I did trim off the side so it didn't come out so much. It's still pretty thick, and that's the reason why I did it is because it's at the end, it's still pretty thick compared to the rest. I kind of want to put in, uh, I have a plan to put in kind of like Star Trek nacelles on this to give it a more like, purposeful look uh, I, I'm also gonna paint it but I also need to put guns on it so guns are something we need to do um, I've added windows uh, so I've welded all the stuff that I placed inside as well but I also did all the interior work because <laughs> so you know we have here the little like kitchen area the it's all planned out for a crew of four um, so you know four people there uh, four stations here so you got you know pilot co-pilot you have like a navigator desk and then you have like you know communications officer or whatever um got a full-size med bay yeah and then put in a, a hallway to go back to engineering you know a window so you can see out into the engines and put on gyros because you know everybody needs gyros on a ship access to the cargo I moved all the cargo off the base onto the ship because, you know, this is where we're going to be. I finished out the bay and welded it all up, welded up the doors. Got the elevator in place. I just put it dead center, uh, or not dead center because we're on an even, but I put it off center. Um, and I tested it. It works. Um, and that's all set up and got that all up together. And then, you know, got so that you have access to back here so you can repair the tanks and the engines without having to go outside the ship. Uh, got a grab gen on board. Um, have not built the the uh, jump drive yet. Used uh, the airlock doors like I use. This is a special one because it does corners. So if you notice this isn't straight back. You have to come in, turn sideways, and then that's one of the optional ones you could do so that's nice so you can get it in and out from the back um, still got our ports back end pretty much stayed the same like I said I, all I did was really just trim this down by a block I got the side thrusters in and you know and welded I've got the you know lift thrusters in and welded uh, I switched out the landing gear uh, so that it's you know something that works uh it's been you know hooked up since the last episode so all the batteries are charged all the tanks are filled uh, so and we'll go in this way so again pretty much a mirror the other side you know got the walkway um access to uh the cargo and then going down here uh, again back onto the bridge and then on this side you have a little bit of a break room lounge area with TV we've got uh, big consoles here for status of stuff which haven't been set up yet uh, put in a <laughs> I use this because it's the only way I could get uh, this to fit but there's a little bridge uh, bathroom off the bridge because you need that and then uh, I always put a uh, captain's quarters off of the bridge uh, so that he, you know, because I'm prissy and I like to have my room as close to the bridge as possible and it's got a nice window. And to marry it up, then there's a spare kind of conference room and just like a little office area over here behind the kitchen. So, you know, you can kind of like a weapons 
security station with the window. So, not too shabby. And then, uh, of course, you know, we have walk down and you have all oh, you have lockers over here for stuff and then you walk down here now this is just a space that uh, I basically just put stuff in to, as placeholders and yeah, one to keep it airtight and two um, is it just because all there is is thrusters on the other side we go through this door and then we have the birthing downstairs you know so you got a bathroom over here you've got like rack and lockers so basically uh, all the crew members have their own rack and it's nice and, and stuff like that and it's done such a way so they get some semblance of privacy and then the other bathroom so that's all set so yeah it does not take me that long and I welded it all by hand because I you know it's something I do in the mornings to wake up so just a couple mornings worth and Sounds like an hour or two. All right. All right, so essentially the ship is done. Uh, the uh, console's not configured. Uh, one of the things, like I said, need to kind of figure out a paint job for it. Um, I need to get weapons on board. Oh, also, oh, I didn't show this. So, for... So we saw where the rover's going, because that was part of the main design, not the store. So if we go off the bridge and we go up these stairs and over here, we have another airlock. The other thing we have to finish is the engineering. So we have uh, the grab gen that we need to weld, reactors we need to weld, the jump drive, uh, emergency hydrogen engine, more reactors. So we have like the little engineering area, but both on either side, there's this walkway up to the top here to our uh, connectors so that we can land our miners and whatever ships to this. So we have a lower connector, we have side connectors it's for docking on either side. So we're connector crazy on this thing. So, but uh, I definitely, once, once we, so this is kind of like a good foundation. Um, once we, uh, we could go and I have some, you know, th other things I want to add to it, but uh, that can be done someplace else. But uh, the next first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this tower. Not leaving that on there for sure. Uh, we do need to add the ramp, which is our new mod figure that out. Inventory full. Yeah, a little late start, but that's not uncommon with me these days. Uh, <laughs> I am um, working on... Um, there's like some home servers I've been putting together. All the parts came in and almost all the parts. I got like one other part that's still in the mail. It's hopefully in the um, but uh, I'm racking two servers and uh, the first one is not didn't go well because what is it these days with like not including all of the stuff like the motherboard I got for the first one I built didn't have a, a physical manual which isn't usually a big deal with me it's like I don't need all this the bells and whistles. What I do need with every any motherboard I get is the pinouts for the front panel. Because <laughs> trying to do that online, and then if it's if you're just saying, hey, the manual is going to be online, cool. Make sure that your manual or your website is you know phone or tablet friendly. So I don't have to run back and forth to my computer from where my workbench that I'm setting up the thing to try to look at the pins, try to memorize what I got, or take a picture of my phone. Because I can't bring it up my phone because your website doesn't work on a phone. And usually that's not a big deal except for the fact this is that it was written so poorly that you couldn't change the size of the page. It was locked. I don't know if they were using like frames or some kind of BS. But it was ridiculous. I've never seen anything so shoddy. 
made me sad. But yeah, so that, uh, the uh, graphics card, because the one, one server I'm setting up is going to be like a remote uh, workstation and slash renderer. So I can move all of the like video render stuff down to that and have it do it the off time, you know, well, so that's not taking up like computers that I have sitting on my desk. Um, and to make it so that I can actually do it a decent clip and a decent way, I had to put just a rack mount, just a low level GPU in it. And since it's a 2U, it's real thin, or, you know, it's supposed to be low profile. I ordered a lower profile card. It literally says low profile in the title. They shipped it with a full size bracket and they didn't include the low profile bracket. And I'm like, I could have got the full size card. You idiots. And they just straight up just forgot to put the bracket in the box. You know, so no manual, no bracket. I'm just, just running into all just stuff that, you know, can be overcome, but it's just like half-ass jobs. Like, I get that, like, you know, we've been busy and everything like that, and, you know, COVID had delayed everything and then getting back up to speed to make up orders and stuff like that. These things happen, but. I'm like, damn, man, I mean. Like the 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 forgetting the the low profile bracket for the the video card was one that was kind of like really <laughs> for me. All right, I think we're gonna go here because that's where the where I had the extra space. In fact, actually, the best way to do this is probably to do it from the bottom. Um, well, actually, what I want to do so. I changed this to a red, so I'm gonna minimally have some kind of block here before I start kind of cutting into it. Um, so, and I know that, and I only, I don't have a whole lot of room, so it's gotta be somewhere uh, close to center, which is right about here. It's probably gotta be this block, this block is all I can cut through because any more than that and then I start getting into a situation where I'm not able to keep air tight integrity uh, from the thrusters. The only downside of thrusters is, is that there's just no way to make it airtight around them. You basically gotta like I put a piece of glass here and this area is just not airtight because there's just you know, really much you can do. You can, I've done it, but it requires a lot of blocks and steel plates and it's goofy so all right let's get it inside and figure out where those red blocks show up at dinner cool they showed up kind of where i wanted them so how we're going to handle this is going to be a little cattywampus. Actually, no, it'll be just fine. So we're going to take these out. And we're going to take these out. Airtight door, so I'm gonna put that back. So actually, hmm, I can make this really fast if I change this door oh, close to the edge. Inventory full. Oh, I also did all the air tight integrity work and all put in all the vents. 
It's the easiest way to find all the holes is to, you know, stick vents in and uh, I think I actually, I'll show you what I mean. So this is one of the selling points of build vision. That, um, um, I didn't get to display because I didn't have anything that's really airtight. So you see how that's yellow right now? Now in a nor without build vision, you wouldn't be able to see anything. You just see like, you know, oh, it's that. But with build vision, you have the ability to do find leaks. So you can hit find and it'll literally point you to where the air leak is at. It times out after a while, but it's really handy. Okay, so we're taking this door out, putting in one of these. So that's our airtight door. And then what we're gonna do is, is gonna do a stair right here. Stair as an S-T-A-I-R, not as an S-T-A-R-E. We're just gonna stare. That'll make for an exciting screen. There. And now what we need to do is, so that we don't lose airtight integrity, we need uh, more uh, steel plating thingy jobbies. So what we're going to do is a little deal like that. I think we'll do the lighted, lit one, lighted, lit. Never found a really good explanation of the different, uh, uh, proper use between lighted and lit. Other than like, oh, well, yeah, no, they're both past tense. The space is lighted, the space is lit, I don't know. And then to block that off, I'm going to use I have a couple different choices. Thinking Actually, I want to check something. If I use the I actually won't be able to tell. It doesn't matter. Um, let's do the corner like that. Let's grab some more steel plate and we'll work on the bottom. walk this through in here but we just fall down to the ground but that's okay because what we're going to do is we're going to add in this and one of these up there
probably because they were on an even setup. Didn't like that. I'll just keep this going here. need to change this around. This will need to be... I ah, know, it should be okay. So the ramp job that we've added, we might have to move this back one. Can we? I don't know. The ramp is three blocks. No, I can't really move it back. It is where it is. Go to our number seven, our utility one. We're gonna just type ramp. This is our new block here. Now I always have a problem getting this placed right, and by that I mean I usually end up putting it in backwards and having to flip it around. So the ramp itself only goes down one block. So you have to be, you know, uh, close to a one block uh, from the ground. So this is why I have to kind of do this superstructure thing. And it takes a little finagling the first time. Metal grids in the wrong assembler again. Okay. Alright, so much like a door, you hit open and closed. Ah, I got it right the first time. Man, I'm good. But I'm gonna have to move it because it's not where I need it. So I need it one more block forward. Keeping this, so we can just put some skill players in here. Back to our ramp it again one more block forward that back in place Just enough space to finish it off. We can get in there.
so that's all put together. So the great thing about this ramp is it does make an airtight seal. So you don't necessarily, but I like having the ability to like have it open and still be able to have an airtight seal in and out. So that's why I always put an airtight door in front of it. switch to open and close that inside and yeah yeah probably a, well yeah inside and out so for the outside and yes I know my energy is low I'll get to it in a second let's do yeah this panel let's please oh, it's always something go through and do most of the labeling, not all of the labeling. Because I know no one wants to sit here and watch me do copy-paste. And yes, I know there's a script that actually does this for me. Now I'm not running it yet. We haven't got any description. So. I don't know if I set this up already, but considering I'm seeing them, it's, it's likely I have not. <laughs> See, I've had to <laughs> place and replace things a couple of times to try to figure out how I wanted to lay it out. So. It happens. It's actually probably one of the times where it's good to do it offline. No so one has to see me like lay something out go, yep, yeah, nope, that doesn't work, and then grind it all down and redo it again.
one charge, so we're gonna rest that later. All right, so now we've got that. Andy, and Andy ramp. Oh, that's our switch. Everything's good there. Now what we're gonna do want is one that's up here so that we can open and close uh, it. And what I'm gonna do is take this railing out. And I will do I've gotten away from using the sci uh, the sci-fi one and getting back into these old school four button panels. I don't know why, I've just been liking them lately. You know what I can do? I can do something else here. Let's do the. Let's do this one. Yeah, that's cool. The big red button. Let's do this and ramp. And... So that way you can. I can't really see if it's open or closed. Uh, there's a way to fix that. So you gotta put a light down there. Like push the button and now it's closed. And you have like this kind of little thing. The things that you can do too is, is they actually change these blocks out to like, um, like, actually I'll do that. Um, you can change this out to be like a, uh, Armory, so you can have like blocks to start. So what we'll do is we'll put a little like armory here. So you can put like pools and bottles, you know, in case you forget on your way as you're heading out and you go, oh, I need a bottle. going to because I thought it would be cool but when the ramp is down you can't you can't use it so let's do this again this time with feeling is uh weapon weapons. So oh that was the other thing I was gonna add and I didn't uh, I'll do it next time. I was thinking about the new uh, another mod I could add. So, but first things first. So we're gonna just start with um I think we'll have the basic Gatlings up here. Back. 
backwards. I know I I remember when I was doing it, I was like thinking that was backwards, but okay, one there and one there. See with this being on uh, an even, you can actually get these together because it, it requires one block of space around it so that the, the heads can swivel. Downside is is they can't have the ability to shoot each other because <laughs> are close enough and they have they rarely but can actually target each other or well as they're following a target and swinging across them from the one and the other they'll they'll hit each other it's rare I do. Uh, I was a big fan of it in the past, but now I'm not. Is I turn the idle movement off. It's good because you can see, and if you're playing on a server, it's off, it's off and you can't actually turn it on. It's good because you can tell when a turret is active or turned off because it's moving around or it's not moving around. Um, but for me, it just gets really annoying. <laughs> It's a personal thing. All right, so um, got those there, and we can't really place anything down here right now. We kind of look. Can do one on this side. Keep going for the connector that's currently in use. Actually, I think I can actually still use it. Yeah. Starting to get all over the place. All right, so down here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually switch to. Can't place that because it needs a block higher. What I found is, is, is that this assault cannon works great because it only needs a two block height. So I'll probably put one on the other side right there eventually. So do I have that fixed the right way? No. I want it facing the other way. If I will or not, because I would have to move that. Well, I don't know if it'll come into be a factor too much. So I, that connector tends to not get. I'm not taking that connector out once I'm done here. In fact, I'm actually done here. I'm when well, I'm using it to keep the batteries charged right now. Um, but uh, I like having a ground access to my inventory. Makes doing stuff like this easy. I have it a jetpack all the way up to the top to grab parts. A lot of parts in this sucker. thing that I need to do is cover up the I just realized as I'm standing down here I need to cover up the batteries I could just do it with plates but I'm actually gonna do some block work here just give it a little bit more actually I'm gonna do something else I'm actually going to use heavy armor blocks because I don't want to batteries to get damaged super easy.
little bit of extra protection on them batteries so we don't you know, get wrecked. Alright, so the other thing we might want to do is have some forward rigid mount weapons. And a good place to stick those is actually going to be right there. So we got our we got our butt covered and we have the top side and the bottom side covered and left to right covered. So this is more just something that's right in front of us. Switch this out to uh, switch that up to uh, now, if I use that, that won't work, and I'll lose their factory, so I'll just switch to ye old conveyor junction. And it'll look kind of gross on the floor, and I've done really good about not having those kind of exposed spots, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Just have them all over the place. In fact, actually, I eh, no. What I've done in the past is actually use a cargo container there, so I get the extra cargo out of it. Or cargo access, I should say. Actually, I won't see it. It's right under the door. Yes! Actually, I didn't even need to use that because uh, I would have been in it. I could have used the T uh, part and it would have still been covered up by the door, but this will be fine. I guess I want to do something else. Alright, so our choices of rigid stuff is we got the missile, rail gun, that seems a bit excessive, the artillery, so I think we're going with the artillery. uranium before we can make any shells for it. It's the only problem I have with uh, this and hopefully comes out. Oh, so the other thing I was going to mention. So the new update beta is being released on the 16th. I don't understand what they're doing with beta unless it's just like they're doing a much like they, they did with like uh, Warfare 1 and 2. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know why they're... It was one of those things where I saw it said beta and I was just a bit confused by that. So I'm gonna change this around a little bit just to kind of... Energy low. I might keep that, but I'm going to change this to actually this so that that back end is fully covered. And the reason being is, is that I, I needed a uh, point where I can mount a camera for when I'm docking. Why does this default to the station all the time? Also, I've been having a lot of success with this block that I said in the past that I hate. using it more and more uh, it is a pain in the butt for me to place but say that one. Um, well but not that one I need the mirror Now 
that's the same one. I need that tip version. There we go. There. Yeah, so that's not gonna work. Uh, let's just stick with the old number seven. So this is why I was having so much luck with this block a while back and now it's not. It's gone. The moment is gone. The problem is, is is the fact that this is a transition from like this where it's this this like small cut in right here. And so there's only like a couple blocks that marry to that. Ooh. Um What if I did? Another block that fits here is this one, and then back to that. See what that does. Energy critical. That kind of works, but it makes the edges weird. Looks droopy and sad. I think we're going back to school on this one. Go here. Put this in here. Uh, I'll have to figure something else with the camera. This is where uh, I think um, this might be where this works in. Yeah. No energy. Last pick. those lights there because I gotta figure out what the hell they're to.
got to set up my thrusters yet. That needs to be done yet. These are the actual landing gear that is to the actual ship for now. too because they're the lighting and the birthing. It's the only place I've really used those. Actually I can do this. cargo so I always just turn that off because I never need it I just need to be able to see it in the inventory I don't really need to see it anywhere else them in the inventory because I don't need it because I never look through what's in those so I like just hiding it same with this so auto refill and then I'll just leave it in the inventory screen I can you know because the fact that bottles can sometimes end up in them These ones I don't usually adjust too much just because like or if I do I I do like a pinpoint adjustment. Uh, in other words, I'm standing in the passageway and I adjust the light. And doors I always turn off. the mid bay Yay. and it's fully piped so we can get fill our oxygen and hydrogen in there too all right. that's all it up and uh, it's not so bad think about it later and come up with something else but it's good for now I don't uh, just looking at it I don't like the sharp corner here I want to cover that whole port but I don't want to necessarily just that sharp corner it looks weird to me anyway close by your gun means that preparing it it will be fairly quickly I have two options. I can either A, go to this connector back here and swap out my bottle, or B, I can use the ramp and go inside. Oh, 
ultimately the point being is, is that now I'm no longer required to have a working jetpack to get on, on and off the ship. Which is favorable. Favorable. Favor. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> favorable. Words. Yeah, with my porky pick moment, I guess. Uh, light armor is shipping. I don't think it's base, I think it's this one. Yep. I feel bad for the people who, you know, the developers have to figure out, okay, what do we call in this block? <laughs> Camera, we're probably just gonna have to do uh, that's a two eight. Just do it right there. So with these cameras, the way to tell, since you don't have the word camera to work with, you look for the big metal bar, and the metal bar goes on top, and the way that I remember it is, is that it's like a weather guard. Some people use the light, just the little like light thing that should be at the bottom. I use always like, it's like a shadow guard or a um, weather call guard. That's how I just remember it. It's easy on the small grid to uh, figure which way is up. So we got our small grid. Oh, that reminds me. Speaking of small grid, so with the small grid ones, you just should see the word camera. Uh, speaking of small grids, I have this uh, chip over here that I've left to get charged. I did have to go back and fill it with ice when I was doing all the welding stuff that ran out of ice at one point. Let's see where our batteries are at. Uh, that's fall. That's fall. Alright, all the batteries are full. Cool. heavy right now because it's full ice. <laughs> Jakey. Cat is trying to become an internet star.
So normally my computer has been running really smooth and really cool, even during streams. But today, for some reason, and it's probably because I didn't get a chance to restart it, it's been running a little hot. I only know that because it's glowing red right now. Got all the lighting on it set up to show uh, temperature state. leave it on there for now. You never know. I don't think it's actually in a bad spot. I mean, other than it sticks out, but at my uh, skate pods tend to get to look pretty gaudy looking because I just... very utility. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. So I got the guns done. Uh, let's work on engineering and then we can figure out like the paint scheme. I think I'm gonna just stick with the the, the, the base like scraped up. White is the base and um, I might just add some accent stuff. Is there a way to access? Well the first things first is like uh, I'm going to finish this because that will unlock the jump drive and I can get that in place and I need us the other things I need is a way to access the inventory I'm up here I thought I worked it out when I laid all this stuff out I guess I didn't or I did and then I forgot <laughs> them so that's the old school reactor uh, not the prettiest thing ever and engine and this is the new one this is the one that I'm placing and I like these better they only have two connectors but that's the same as the old ones uh, what I'm doing though is I'm putting uh, oh, I'm gonna be putting a conveyor junction here I have to go get one did have put a cargo container here so that's my access point and I need to make some gravity oh stop using the station the gravity components for that. So this is the explanation of if you've ever been watching someone on stream and they say, hey, I was pointing at this and I had my part and I went and it said that I got all the, the components, but I actually didn't get any of them. Well, it's because the fact is, is that you have something that's ahead of it that is uh, that it got. So. See how I have this gravity jenner here? That, until that's fulfilled, it's gonna keep fulfilling that one. And it'll say that it's, and if it's, you don't have it, let's say all of the parts show up, I'm gonna click on this and it'll say uh, completed, but you're gonna think it's this, uh, the block that you're holding, and it's not. It's the, the actual block that was already in the system.
So I fixed that is, is that we preload the block that we are planning on placing. Hold that in place. Now we'll right click. Now we have both of them and it will, when it doesn't have the parts for one, it'll skip it and go grab the parts for the second thing. Oh, it got said completed. It got both. What if I was just to hold another car, uh, like conveyor junction up to that and select it, it would say parts collected, but I wouldn't have all the parts for another conveyor junction. So, that. So, I might be adding two blocks because you know what? I don't think I have. My like second favorite part, and I didn't add it. Actually, I can fix this. I can change this out. I'm gonna change this to that. Because you can't get parts in and out of a conveyor junction. You can't get them out of a cargo. And then I just label it cargo access. There's an interface mod that I usually add, but that'll have to come on next week or something. All right, there's that. So now all I have to do is first I need to make reactor parts because I don't think I have them. Do I have the silver? That's the question. I think I have enough. I have 370, and each of them takes a hundred of these. I do not have enough. I need to mine more silver. Just need to double check because I may have mined silver already and it's just kind of all over the place. four reactors. Granted, I don't have uranium. I won't have that until I find it out in space, but uh, I can build all the, I can build the, actually the component, uh, the assemblies here, but they take a hundred reactor components piece and at 167, that's going to be like seven, eight, uh, well, 700 uh, ingots and I have like 200 and something, or 300 and something. So I have half what I need. Uh, do I use this one? This one probably be better, but I'd have to knock this off. I'll leave the tank because it's not in the way. Let's make sure that we get this all unloaded. Our silver. Right there. I know our batteries are charged now because uh, just sat there for quite a few days charging. I think I got a bunch of gold and I didn't get the silver. Big 
says so. shots because it doesn't look like I got a whole lot. Silver does not mine very efficiently. But it refines okay. I did get a decent amount last time, but I did, uh, you know, make um, full med bay, and that takes a few pieces of silver, plus I'm going to be making a jump drive, and that's going to take some grab gen parts, and I think that, I don't remember, but I think silver gets used in those too. Pretty full. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to be careful when I hit the backing thrusters because this is full enough where it's gonna draw enough power um, with everything running that'll actually start to lose power and start to fall, even though it won't really show it. I've had this happen before, it's weird. for it to be dropping and then it is. It's probably because I'm not getting any left right now. Turn it all off. It's got power. like it's reached an altitude but it hasn't so let's uh check what we got running shut some things off get the 
All right, I'll unload a little bit of it by hand because it's being weird. I flew all the way here, and now it's like, now, now I'm heavy. You're not heavy. I mean, you're heavy, but no heavier than you were five minutes ago. two full-size refineries and I was like where did all that silver go we went into not one but two of the refineries that go on which will be a bit of a drain on the batteries because I'm only running two power towers Should probably set up another one Let's see how many blocks away are we one two three Six in the bottom or seven? Seven. Yeah, I kind of had that feeling that I did uh, the one extra because of the mountain. That's why I wanted to double check.
do not know why I grabbed those. Um, small steel tubes. There's no tubes in this. There's something else I'm missing, but we'll try that. Close enough for government work for right now. All I need to do is just make sure that the batteries on the ship don't get discharged. Alright, so. Alright, so yeah, back to working on engineering. Oops. We got our cargo container in place, and now we can. Uh, and we're making our stuff we want to. Let's work on this. We do have our generator, in, our uh, grab gen in place, which we can turn off right now, so we're not wasting power. Construction components. Bitch, sweet bitchy. Oh. Pretty much enough for our uh, reactor component, so started on that. That will use the station control. I can get busy on that. Meanwhile, I can. Let's finish this. See that anyway. So it's always good to go back and check to make sure that you didn't like weld through, or, you know, grind through something that you kind of wanted.
jump drive. batteries and just it takes a lot of just stuff but uh let's work on these first ah uh, those rack components will take a while so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna do everything but the So, the reason why I did that is, is that so I can do something squirrely because welding up um, jump drives is a pain in the ass, much like welding up refineries. gets parts available, so they're saying it's gonna be
now as the assembler's finished parts, we can just throw them into things. And, well, as it finishes the parts for this, it'll the welder just weld it into place. We'll just have to be mindful when we're working on, on the other side, not to get too close to the welders. Um, but once the computers are done, it'll start building the power uh, cells, and it'll weld it in place. And we'll just move on down through the chain. As you can see, it's already starting to uh, put power cells in place. So now what I'm going to do is see how the other thing is doing with our reactor components. Sit down for a second. I have a lot of sliding doors. Take a warfare out here because I don't need the long name. I get the idea. In here, I'm just going to go and turn all of these off. Since we can't use them anyway. Which does remind me that uh, at some point. We need to add a ore detector to this ship. like it's done through the batteries and it's done through that. What are you working on right now? Uh, 
Oh, it's even through the craft gen, so it should be uh, waiting on the superconductors. So let's move that over here. got to be a little uh, trick tricksy about it. Oh, that's going to take a while. All right. Um, I don't need a GPS marker anymore. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, so we need to put in a ore detector. I feel like here's a good spot. So close. Thought I bumped up the detector components. Not you. Actually, you. Right there. That's done. Speaking of which, we're going to need a uh, beacon uh, as well. Antenna, I think, might be too much. It would be handy, but I don't know where I'd stick it. Let's take a look around while we got the time. Oh, we're waiting for all this stuff to build. Regardless of which way we go, we're going to need some more of those. So I could actually stick one right over there and that would actually protect the jump drive a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Still get in the way, I think. Because they're long. Well, let's take a look at what it might look like. That, 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 and then do a That should be enough room to land stuff. I believe that it's, yeah, I believe that the uh, collision out that's pretty short, yeah. Oh. The reason I'm going with, the reason antenna's better is, is because if we detect ore and then we go out to go and like actually find the ore, we don't have to rely on, so let's say that the, uh, core detector notices that it's like 300 meters away but or excuse me like 800 meters away and then we go out with the miner which can only see it 300 because I'm using the ore detector mod can only see it 300 away this makes it so it's easier to go find it or if I'm going by just by jetpack because I'm getting like some small sample or something like that that makes it really easy all right so Need parts. 
might leave that welder there just as a re as something that can do repairs as damage takes place. That might be a really good idea. and 20. Actually, let's just do this. That's going to be a while since I got those well since I'm waiting on other things but we can go back to the reactor cool now it's very difficult to get to the other reactor because of the welder but we can just do this That's our antenna. So we're all welded up other than the jump drive and then we'll need some time for it to charge, but we're getting in a pretty good state there. So this makes the crossover a little bit more work, but. Keeping that. Uh, so now it's time to set up. Oh, can we set up our thrusters? We didn't. So we've got should have six backing. down ones, let's figure out which ones we want Because we're not going to want to run all of them. Once we get to space, we don't want to run them all. So we're going to set two of them. At least two. 
probably could just even set three to planetary. The down ones on something separate. Yeah, it'll be fine. All of these. It's that, it's that, it's that, and that. Just the thrusters. And these ones are going to be thrusters, planet. Save a little bit of juice there. So now. Take the lift ones, and we put the uh, just to, just so that we have the overrides, so we can use that for controlling our ascent, as opposed to having to do it by hand, which is lame. <laughs> All right, we're not going to set up any connectors because. Do need the landing gear. Should have top and bottom uh, cameras though. This will make it so as we ascend, we don't like slam into an asteroid. Which I haven't done yet, but I've come really close.
that one tends to get moved. Because <laughs> if I do end up keeping the connector where it is, and if I want to connect to something, I might need it for lining up. But for now, it's just so that when I'm coming down, I can take a look at the ground that I'm, when I'm trying to land. Jump drives. Actually, it's not done yet, so wait on that. So we got our antenna on and off, and then our beacon on and off. We want to look at our batteries. to be able to turn them on and off. Same with our engine. I put that in there and make sure we know if it's open or closed. Alright, three is usually where I put weapons, so let's do that. We need a forward camera. Which I forgot the label. Thank you. 
come to try. I'll jump drive controls would be there, but I usually put all the like between in space and not in space stuff. And then we'll just, as we need it, we can fill the rest of the toolbars. But that's all we need to basically, you know, run this joint. Oh, we do need a. Uh, we need our connectors. So we should have. Oh, we should label those so we can tell them apart. Best way to do that is usually while you're in here, like this. labeled so that way we know what's hooked up and what. We're pretty much set. We do need to put um, some stuff on the displays here, but not really that important. I'm, wait I'm essentially waiting until later, and I'll put a uh, script on there for putting readouts and stuff like that. I might change out those two to instead of having the big ones, because. The smaller ones I can display more, and, and as opposed to just like one big thing of stuff. Turn the antenna off. There's no good source of broadcasting right now. What we can do is put some lights in the landing pad area. stuff going here. Got a ways to go on those babies. I could switch some of them over to the other one. That's what I think I'll do. 
do, let's, um, uh, uh station. I probably should only put like 200 on the other one, but whatever. We're almost there. As soon as that jump drive's done, then well, we gotta wait for it to charge. And we should be good. Meanwhile, let's finish all the needly bits. Just go with uh, something like this. Or I got a better idea. Let's put those there. figure out where all these lights are. Uh, that's 15, 16, 17, and 18. And that's uh, double and double two. these to figure out what those lights are too.
you up over. load up the rover so I'm just realizing uh, I need a button panel down here to open that Is, can I reach that button here? Yes. And I'm thinking I'm gonna change this already. I'm changing this out. I need something a little bit more. So I need a few more buttons and I can get them actually from here. Is do I do it like that? Do I do it like that? Let's try it with that. Just say it because it feels out of the way like that. made this quite a tricky parking job. I think I'm far enough over here. Uh, actually, I'm pretty good. In theory, if I have this set up like I think I have it set up, I should be able to select this. Oh, oh, need to back it up a little bit more. It's too far. There we go, that's alright. Alright. So we should be able to 
Just like that. Got a rover ready to go. Got a rover, will travel. All right. Well, the next thing is to figure out. Get the get a script on that um, on those change those panels around and get a script on them running on them. So you need another. You need to figure out another computer. I need some control on these doors. It's getting lame. Oh, to where to stick another computer? right there oh I do need to also th think about like a paint job scripts yet. Uh, they have to be turned on in the uh, in the main thing. Let's see if I have it. Yeah. So if you have the edit button, that means scripts are available. And usually it's only locally because running a server, a lot of people shut it off because you can do some pretty dastardly stuff with running scripts. Uh, you can get scripts off of the um, workshop just like anybody else. You can write your own actually too. So if you know how to code C, you can write your own. And there are instructional videos. I haven't gone through it. I know a little bit because I've messed with some of them. I've had to fix a couple. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things where I just don't want to write code when I'm playing games. <laughs> so instead we browse scripts and these are ones that I've pulled off of the workshop. So, and the one in particular that I'm going to use right now is Easy Simple Doors. Love this one. So I just select it, copy to editor. Uh, and this one I want to turn off uh, auto closing hanger doors. Uh, and set that to false because I don't want to open the doors and in the process of trying to load the rover, the hangar doors close. Also, any doors you don't want the script to control, you can put the iManual in the description of them. Simple airlock, it's gonna find two doors and treat them as an airlock. I'm gonna set the default because anything that is an airlock, I, I will control the airlock on. check code make sure all your changes are good and that this script can compile successfully hit ok and then hit ok and you can see over here the script is actually running and it's managing 20 doors now what I like to do so I can look at this block and know that it's doing that I'm gonna add some text to it and it's just gonna say running doors script Uh, it looks like a normal terminal. <laughs> For this one, however, we're going to actually put a script on here. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the name program CD. And I'm going to put in here and I'm going to put damage. 
and the reason being is, is I'm going to use the screen for displaying damage. So, what I'm going to do now is edit Browse Scripts, Automatic LCDs, and this is done by, oh, I forget his name, uh, M Masters, excuse me. Should have put his name in, in the top of here. Anyways, um, that's all of the configuration for this happens at the display that you want it. Uh, the only things to kind of keep in mind here is um, there's a lot of there it is. You did put it in here. Um, is you let's see if it says it in here. You have to put the LCD in there. So he's got a lot of he he actually most of his his script is actually in descriptions and disclaimers and stuff like that. Oh, got to copy it together. So this is the actual script. So the only thing you have to kind of really keep in mind is this is the tag for the LCDs. You have to have this in the title, and the script will control what is on there. You have to go to the site. There's a lot. There's a lot that this script can do. Um, more so than I could ever show in this uh, in this thing. And there's a lot of things in here. One of the things that I have it do is actually um, keep track of my inventory. So in this list of stuff here, you'll see where it's got these numbers. These are kind of like um, when you have like a bar graph you know, and a percentage of full, what you can want it to consider full. So I want this 15, because that's the most I need to build a full-size reactor. <laughs> uh, iron, I usually keep at like 60. That's kind of more of a minimum than anything. Uh, and I, usually what these are are minimum, so I know that when the bar graph starts going down below that I'm actually under where I want to be. Cobalt. Uh, I can get by with two, I'll set the three, magnesium, it's hard to come by, so 800, silicon, same as nickel, 5,000, silver, I usually set this to 1,000, I usually don't need that much, gold, kind of the same, platinum, I just take the two zeros off, uranium, I take one zero off. Uh, the rest of these are just for like parts. Uh, I don't care about the tools so much because I don't usually display those. Construction components, I usually I try to keep a thousand available. Metal grids, I keep like 500 because of the thrusters. Interior plate, a thousand. Steel plate, no. I used to do only like a thousand, but I've been bumping that up more and more all the time. Girders don't need a whole lot of those, just like 200. Uh, small steel tubes, 100. Uh, large tubes, only like 300. I don't need a whole lot of those. Uh, motors. Um, I'm not e when you're not using Atmel thrusters, there's no need to keep a whole lot of them around. So. My down key is being a little weird. Displays, only need about 100. Bulletproof glass, I usually match up to the herder to 200. Computers, always need a lot because those are the first things that get shot. Reactors, 100. Thrusters, 100. Graph, because of the jump drive takes 20, I set it to 20. Medical, uh, I set to 20. Radio communications, 40 because that's what it takes to make something with it. Same with this is 20. This is to, this is to make an antenna or a beacon. This is to make a, a ore detector. Explosives don't really care, so I put it at a thousand. Solar cells, I keep them at 200, or that's the goal. Same with, um, uh, same with um, power cells, which is a lot, but when you need them, you need them, because you need 80 per uh, on a large grid. You need 80 per. Uh, battery. 
so I figure like two two and a half batteries worth is is pretty conservative on canvas. I don't care because I'm not using any parachutes on this currently in zone chips. Just leave that. Most that stuff really doesn't matter, and, and the code starts after here. Do not touch anything when he says, really, 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 do not modify anything below this line. Check code. And hit OK. And you know you got it. You'll see that that'll start to load up, and then <clears throat> you'll see that I have two uh, bridge lights that are not fully completed. Damage box phones. We're doing pretty good, which also means our jump drives jump. It's very cool. I am going to take this screen out and this screen out. And going to replace it with two of these. Using that script, like I said, you have to have LC in this. This is going to be uh, LCD panel front left, and we're going to show. Um, let's show charge uh, for the Explorer. Power. So when you put, um, so charge shows the jump drive, power shows the power for the ship. If you put explorer, it only shows for anything that's got the word explorer in it. And tanks, explorer, hydrogen, tanks, explorer. You have to specify them separately. Should be good, and you do that all in the custom data for it. And then that's a lot of stuff, so we're gonna drop this down to eight. And then on this one, let's do sure what I'm gonna put on there yet so we'll just leave that for right now these ones will get uh, inventory stuff so you're right this is gonna be inventory Scroll if it's too much. There we go. And then this one's going to be and then this is gonna be inventory and inventory explorer uh, ingot. Down to 0.7. It's 
So as you can see in here, we can see our jump drive is 100% before we're ready to go there. Reactors, they're off, so they're zero. The engine's off, so it's zero. The batteries, because they were probably jumping the, uh, charging the jump drive, they're down to 15 of 18, 87%. But, uh, 87, and it should be charging. You can see our output is like nothing. It's 772 kilowatts. Our input's four megawatts, so we're definitely charging. We can see our oxygen and our hydrogen is at 100%. <clears throat> what else can we put on here? Let's, um, I know what we'll do for right now. We'll do um, inventory X. Explore. X means it doesn't show the bars, it just shows values. And we'll do four. It should show us the bar. any ores that we have. We have. A little bit of silver and ice. And if we need to add anything, and you can add echoes in there and stuff like that. So if there's something else that we want to display, we can put it there. We're going to move some stuff over. and now we have status of all our stuff on board. Looks like we'll need to be making some stuff. Oh, it's the conductor did not get adjusted. It says 300. So let's uh, sit down, program block, LCD, edit. Edit text. Edit. So if you need to update something, you go back into the script. Find what you're looking for. In this case, component. That one. This should be 100. Check code. Anytime you make a change, you want to check code and then hit OK. So these will reload and go right back to where they were. And there we go. Okay. And we can see uh, our iron is mega low. Magnesium's a little to be desired. Gold is low, which is expected. Platinum and uranium, since we can't get them here, is going to be zero. So we should probably grab a little bit of iron before we take off. That would be prudent. Well, we're waiting for our batteries to charge up their 88%. So we're pretty close to getting uh, getting out to space. This bad boy here. And we'll make sure not to fill it all the way because otherwise we'll never get out of that hole. Man, 
I could smack into something hardcore and it would be fine. I tap a railing and the whole thing falls apart. Space engineer sometimes, I tell ya. Whenever something is on a subgrid or an attached grid, so since all the inventory is in the ship, anytime that uh, you try to pull parts out of something on a different grid, it will say, hey, it's not available until you actually go in and pull it. Oh, that's brilliant. My survival kit broke. Luckily, I was keeping some spares. I especially love the irony that it's is like I have to repair a ship right at the point when I'm low on iron and I just did an iron run. on top. How would the gyro on top go bad? Acquiring minds want to know. Easiest time to fix a ship is at uh, the bottom of a ship is when it's upside down.
and I'm gonna do something while I'm up here. of ideas. I'm gonna have to hand unload this stupid thing. Grr, grr, arg. Now well, the good news is the battery should be charged once I'm done with this. I'll probably have to get iron in space. Stuff in the small cargo stuck for the moment. 
but all right so we got that stuff out i don't see if we can roll this otherwise we're gonna have to do do it the goofy way backing thrusters reporting unavailable Two of my other thrusters, probably my left and right ones. So, better check those two while we can. Yeah, that one's not good. Jeez. Call a self inflicted gunshot wound. Alright, oh, let's see if we can get this thing over. See what the upside damage is here. Yeah, that somehow yeah, we don't need you anymore. There's one below you. You're a hundred, you're a hundred, you're a hundred. Something smoking. Some interconnect thing that's not working. There it is, right there. something over here and it's saying that it's reporting is bad. Let's see if I can see it in the dashboard here. In there. Got an interior light, that's about it. Seeing. Not seeing anything from under here that's not working. It's online. Uh, 
very are. Dashboard is not going to show, um, the uh, control panel is not going to show like any kind of like piping stuff. I think that's really it because it's just the interconnect between the some stuff showing smoking. See nothing. seems to be functioning now so. and we're not really using it for anything else other than a fallback in case we like hardcore fail so what a dreary day we need to get off this planet Everything will be better in space. Fiasco. Twenty K, not bad. That should be good. Don't worry about the painting later. Let's see if we can get out of here. Let's disconnect that. Actually, where's our battery? Is that? Ah, 94%. Yeah. Good enough. It's less than a uh, thousand meters away. I'll do one more on the signal. Just because I can't help myself. are well lit so we can find them and you don't know how important that really is until later. <laughs> right. 
Oh, we got more of those. So that's cool. disconnected and out of here. Should be good enough. Damage nothing here. Okay, cool. Alright, time for a little what I like to call pre let flight checks. Able all thrusters and gyros. Let's make sure everything is piped and burning. So we got those. Your story, Mister. Let's check the rears. Okay, one not firing. Oh, sometimes grinding it down a little bit. Inventory full. I'll make it pop off. two are running and it's not so let's just totally reattach it and just make sure So all the thrusters are lit. Should be good to go. Let's uh oops, that's not what I want. Uh before I do that, turn those back on. Have the on off as opposed to switch lock. Center 
in fact, I was able to drop that down to 59%. Project Goofy, uh, Goofy looks pretty good. So good. We're about halfway up, 0.33 on the gravity, and we're at 24% on thruster down thrust. So we're doing really good for 1.6 uh, kilograms of weight. More thrusters might be a damn bit overkill, <laughs> but we're not completely full of ice either. We're not. Yeah, we're not full capacity. In fact, actually, I think. numbers kind of fit. portions on one side which is kind of considered the northern part and not so much on what would be considered the southern part and the, what's kind of the determination as you notice is that where the, the somewhat middle is is kind of like a desert area so but snowy at the peaks desert in the middle so when you're going pole to pole know that you're gonna have snow on either side you're gonna be in the desert or part of it too so you can kind of tell by the binome that you're in biome that you're in that uh, where you kind of are 
in the planet, which is, I think, pretty cool in the design of that planet to make it so that you have a sense of where you're at. And you have lakes strewn all about, nice lakes. So, making it so that you can find ice isn't too bad. There. Almost there. Might start checking that upward cam. So, yeah, it looks like we're in between two asteroids and far enough up we can probably engage our core detector now. Which is good. Uh, it, uh, I always say it's, it tells you what you're hitting. <laughs> because they can only go like uh, 1200 meters by the time that you notice you're about to hit something, you pretty much ran into it. So it just tells you what, 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 what ore is contained in the asteroid you just ran into. Cats and kittens, we are in space. So let's drop that off. And that's us do that off. Let's uh, go over here. We'll turn on our generator and our graph gen. And what we should do is adjust the range. So we're going to turn on show uh, gravity range. We're going to go grab generator and show on HUD and we're going to make some adjustments because we don't need to be generating that much gravity. It costs power. I usually drop the gravity on board the ship to put the half. There, now we're only using 89 kilowatts versus the full 567 kilowatts. Now I gotta figure out where we're going. We want to eventually end up at the moon way over there. Got the gyro count right, that's for sure. It was really quickly. So we're gonna have to keep on this heading for a bit. But that's good, it'll give us a chance to check out and look at some asteroids and look for, uh, for uranium. Good, good chance as any as the dashboard looks clear. Let's go and check to see how the airtight integrity worked out. So. And the door script is working. Good, we've got our rover. So it's not airtight back there. And that's the door.
good considering it doesn't have a vent into it, so uh, I may be switching that door to manual <laughs> so it leaves it open. This bathroom should stay uh, until it runs out of air. There's no way to get air into it currently. So let's check uh, further. Good through here. Alright, everything looks good. Successful launch. How's our ice doing? 470, not bad. Hydrogen, 97. Doing all right. One of the things that we could do eventually is put some solar panels on here so you can get some cheap power. Probably put them on the bottom and the top. Good. But anyways, this is uh, uh, where I call it a day, considering the fact that it ran, it ran it a little bit long, and going here and and back at the world, and oops. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. Catch me tomorrow when I start continuing work through frostbite or uh, if you're on YouTube you'll be catching the next days uh, hopefully everything will go next week I think what we'll do is, is we're gonna be checking out some asteroids I might do a little bit offline so that I don't have to just sit through you flying around space entertaining myself um, but what we'll do is, is we'll check out asteroids as we head to the moon and we'll go there maybe we'll set up a small moon base and, and uh, drill for some platinum which we can get on moons um, and maybe replenish some of the ores that we're missing because we're, we're a little shy there so we can do a little space mining all right well, thanks for joining me and if i don't see you before i'll talk to you all next week thank you very much <laughs>